This is supposed to be the only fabric haul of the entire year. Will I make it? Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. If you've seen my video announcing the challenge not to buy fabric for this entire year, then you'll also know I allowed myself to purchase about $150 worth of fabric as sort of a fat Tuesday for my fabric buying obsession. And then after that, nothing. So I tried to plan out some projects that I wanted to do this year, and I'll talk about that in another video, but I tried to at least buy fabrics that I thought I would need this year. So during one of my last uh, live shows, I showed you some purse fabric that I got from Sew Sweetness. So this order is from a company called Fabric Wholesale Direct, and I was kind of blown away by the prices. They were pretty low, and you got free shipping if you spent over $75 which I did. So let's open up this box and I will show you what I ordered. And up on the screen, I'm gonna try to flash my order so you can see specifically what items I had. And I will link where you can purchase this below. And they have this whole program like refer a friend. So the link below is for my like refer a friend account. And I guess if you refer friends and they purchase fabric too, you get some points that you can use to help you buy fabric in the future. So if you guys do end up purchasing through my link, at the end of the year, I will do sort of a status update sharing how many points I earned, and then I'm going to use all of the points to buy fabric, and then I'm gonna share them with you in a huge haul. Or it could be like a no haul, we don't know yet. So if you're interested and you wanna use my refer a friend link, you can. You don't have to, but I just thought it would be sort of funny to see how many points I could accumulate, and then, use that to do a haul. So that will be the first haul of 2019 if uh, anybody uses the refer a friend link. So thank you in advance. All right, so let's see what is in here. Here's another thing I could do. What if I let you guys choose the fabric that I purchase with those refer a friend points? Since you guys helped me get the fabric, <laughs> then uh, you guys can help me choose the fabric too. So I think that'd be kind of funny. I thought I'd get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I went with this Crystal Organza. Now, a lot of the people that were ordering this on the site were using it to make like Disney princess costumes for the kids. I mean, that sounds cool. I could make a Disney outfit for myself, right? It's kind of sparkly, but it doesn't have glitter on it to like get all over the place. This is actually pretty neat. And I read that it was pretty easy to sew. It was only like a dollar 99 yard. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal. All right, and Okay, this looks pretty neat. I, all right, I'm liking this. And I also have a very similar color of tulle. Maybe I could kind of team that up with that. And, oh, I was very intrigued by this stretch taffeta. It was $3.99 a yard, so I got it in a few different colors. I got lilac, gold, and black. And I can't wait for you guys to see the other fabric I ordered. Ooh, this feels pretty nice. Okay, it feels... And you know, for the price, I kind of thought it would look cheap, but it actually looks pretty, the stuff looks kind of high end. I'm, I am pleasantly surprised. It's pretty stretchy, but it's not super stretchy. So you could definitely use this sort of as a woven. I could make some really cute um, tops out of this fabric or maybe like a dress. And I want to kind of team up the crystal organza with this. Maybe I'll also throw in the tool and make some like crazy outfit where people will think I'm insane. I don't know. All right, here is the taffeta in the gold. All right, this is, all right. I gotta be honest, this gold is not the shade that I thought it was gonna be. It's a little more um, brownish than I thought. The color is just not exactly what I expected, but it's still very usable. It's a little more brown than I was thinking it would be. All right, and here it is in the black. Okay, so this is the black taffeta, and there goes a flyer. Wow, okay, that seriously just sailed right into the waste basket. So good, good, uh, good accidental timing there. But uh, I was thinking of maybe doing like, um, I don't know, maybe a dress out of it or like a skirt or something cool. Maybe like a little like suit action, who knows. Originally, I was looking to get the stretch mesh fabric in gold, but it said it was out of stock, so I ordered black, and one of the customer service reps emailed me and said the black was out of stock, but they did say they had gold. So I was like, you know what, I'll take gold. Okay, so this is 
sequin fabric and it looks pretty, it looks like it'll be pretty easily sewable. I was not expecting it to have this finished edge. So that is an unexpected surprise in a good way. I think I paid $8.99 for this and it's slightly stretchy but it's not super stretchy so I think it'll actually go pretty well with the stretch taffeta. And the colors, let me put these two together, the colors match pretty spot on. In 2018, there is definitely gonna be a gold outfit of some type involving this stretch taffeta and this gold sequin mesh. I'm pretty happy with this fabric. I think it looks good and it looks like it'll be pretty easy to sew without a lot of problems. So I think this is a really good purchase and I think this is very pretty fabric. I'm very happy. All right, and I got a couple other things because I'm probably gonna need new drawers. I ordered a few yards of knit jersey fabric and I think it's cotton. It's like a cotton spandex blend. It was like $4.99 a yard. So, and I, they, all of this stuff had really good reviews. So I felt pretty comfortable ordering. So I got two yards of some things and then like one yard of the pink. So this, okay, so one note, there is some like, as I'm looking through the fabrics, you're gonna have to like lint roll it cause it's got some random stuff on it. I mean, the quality looks good and for the price, you know, it's a really good deal. But yeah, there is like some random stuff on it every once in a while. It feels very comfortable. I think it'll make good underwear and you know, maybe I can make a t-shirt out of it. I do still have like a little bit of knit fabric left. So I have some options, but I am, Overall, pretty happy with this stuff. Okay, there's some random. Yeah, so I mean, this stuff must be sitting with other fabrics because it's got like, you'll see some like random stuff on it, but the quality seems pretty good. And particularly like the more like luxurious fabrics, the, they, they look higher end. So I think that's pretty, I'm pretty satisfied so far. All right, and then I ordered some new fabrics that I have not ordered before. I got this. I'm gonna maybe try to make a bathing suit. So I got this power mesh in blush, which is actually very, okay, this is very pretty. So I was maybe gonna use this as a bathing suit lining if I can. You know, I guess you can also use this to make underwear or bras. So I could technically make bras out of some of this stuff. And then I got this fabric meant to possibly be like a bathing suit or something. Okay, this is very interesting feeling. This stuff for sure needs lint rolling, but the quality seems good. I just, I'm a little bit worried about this fabric. It does look like it has a potential to snag. So we'll have to see, but I, my, my original thought for this was a bathing suit maybe. I was gonna try to make a bathing suit, but I am more happy with the power mesh. I think this was, I wanna say this was $3.99 a yard and then the Lycra fabric, this was one of the more expensive ones. This was $7.99 a yard and then the gold mesh sequin fabric was $8.99 a yard. So those were the two most expensive fabrics. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It does look like it would work for a bathing suit. It, this also looks like it would be good for like maybe like leotards or like dance type outfits or something. Um, it might also work for, I think it would also work for bras too. So I was maybe thinking about getting the Watson bra and like panty pattern and maybe trying to do that. We'll see. But yeah, so this is what I ordered from Fabric Wholesale Direct. I'll get some better shots of this as well so you can see. Um, overall, I think if I had to give this company a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give them an eight. I think the quality and the price of the fabrics is excellent. Uh, some of the fabric though has some random stuff on it. So I'm taking a point off for that. Yeah, and some of the fabrics I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take another point off because the way they were depicted on the website, it was a, a little bit different than what I had pictured. So overall, I think, it, I think a score of eight is pretty generous. Uh, what do you guys think? Have you ordered from Fabric Wholesale Direct before? If not, what are your favorite online fabric stores? Let me know. But yeah, this is going to be my only, supposedly my only fabric haul of the year um, due to my fabric ban. If you'd like to join me, you are welcome to, or you don't have to. I know that might be a little bit difficult, but um, we'll see what I'm going to make with this stuff. But hopefully I can make good use of this fabric and the fabric I already own. If you enjoyed this video and you love sewing or if you're interested in sewing, feel free to subscribe to The Sewing Report. I do a live show every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time and I will see you guys again next time.